guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here karibu sana my name is doris in this video i share the making of my october bullet journal setup hope you stick around give me a thumbs up leave a comment down below and if you're not already subscribed please do so it will make my day so here i'm setting up my cover page this time around i have a lot of changes in the layout and for starters i have my month header on the left like I mentioned in my last year's setup, we don't really have Halloween celebrations here. Maybe it's catching up, but who doesn't like holidays? So my theme this month is one of the things that spook me. Yes, spiders. Oh well, I chose to do a web theme. My tools of choice is a big pen. I use the sharp pointed black pen, a rubber to erase all those pencil marks, and a ruler. I really do love how this cover page turned out. I changed up the monthly page to from my usual two page grid that I've been using over the months to just using one page and I have my header at my top left corner and some web detail at the top right corner with the spider sticking out from it and I really like that. Um, then I do a square that is 35 by 35 dot spaces and that translated to um, a box that has uh, 7 by 5 uh, boxes and then each box is 5 by 7 dot spaces. So after I've done that, I'm just going to go ahead and place the days of the week and then the dates and that is done. Next is my habit tracker spread and if you watched my September Bujo setup, I tried out using individual trackers and I want to carry that on into this month as well. The only difference is that now I'm going to add in two sections or two categories to this where I'm tracking my habits and at the same time tracking my you know, uh, my little projects like crochet or Instagram or something that I'm working on so that I can remain creative as I'm working on my other habits. So that's what I'll be having on here. As you know, the month starts on a Tuesday and ends on a Thursday. So the layout of those, um, of those tiny calendars is going to depict just that. The mood tracker is so different. I'm not sure how the end result will look like. Um, like super excited to see how this one will be. And at the same time, I'm also a bit scared. Um, I hope I've not messed it all up. But anyway, it's all about creativity and finding what works. So uh, I started off with my head at the top, then a rectangle, which will have all my dates uh, to show my mood. Then of course, my web detail because it's a web affair here and then at the bottom i have my legend now the story about the legend is that i will have a bug that like crawl up or down the string the longer the string the tougher that day is so i can't wait to see how this one works i have been loving allocating two pages to my brain dump so that's what i'm going to do here as well all i have is my title and just a little bit of detail to keep up with the theme all in all I just love having more space than not having any space at all so I'll just keep the detail to a minimum A meal plan page is an essential in my bullet journal so all I have here is just a little bit of detail to keep up with the theme and then my title which I decided to have at the side of the page. Then all I will add into this is the weeks and my grocery shop spot for each week. I like autumn themed recipes and I will definitely be keeping an eye out for those ones on YouTube and I have a spot for that. 
Finally, my first weekly spread for the month of October. I think I will maintain this layout all through the month and the only thing that I'll probably change is the doodles that I will use and the font. I tried out a lot of layouts in my previous Bujo setup and I think this one is the one that suits me best or at least for now and yeah, I feel it's more functional. The only difference is that on this one I will attempt to do a Dutch deal for the weeks and I hope I don't mess that up. So yeah, be sure to check out my Instagram for the weekly spread layouts. I try to share them on a weekly basis over there and I hope you like it. Well, thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe and share. I'll leave you with a flip through. I wish you a really awesome October. Until next time, bisous. Bye.